Hey guys, I had this perfect example of circle brows come in today. So um, the interesting thing is she wants to keep them, she does want to smooth them out, but she doesn't want to build them too big. Um, and she wants to keep them as natural as possible and keep a little bit of a rounded shape. Um, so we're going to attempt to do that. So I'm just gonna start with marking, as I always do, um, marking the little divots in her nose on both sides and she wanted to try to basically keep the centers where they currently were and fortunately it looks like that just works out just about perfect now my little handy dandy tool here I'm just gonna use to go from the tip of her nose the corners of her eyes and it opens up evenly on each side so you know that you're creating symmetrical brows. So I'm just going to quickly and easily mark the tails, which is about where her brow hair ends anyways. It's more the body of the brow that we're going to be altering. Okay, so now you just take the little bulbs and touch them to the tips of her lashes. And by flipping this little tool down, then we can make sure we've got it centered. And I'm going to just mark um, the apex of her arches. There we go. Easy, easy. And at that angle, I love it because it, um, I love the shape it gives to brows because it ever so slightly moves the line outward on the bottom. So now I'm just clamping it down and moving it down until I hit her brow bone. And because her arches are already very high, um, I'm just going to basically mark these. It happens to be right where her hair naturally is there. And um, with circle brows, you primarily build underneath to kind of smooth out that circle. And then I'm also just going to mark the sides of the brow to help that V where we want our tails to go. So I just basically marked where her brow bone was at on that top portion. Now, because we want to work with as much of her natural hair as possible, my first mark in the center is just going to be the bottom of where her brow hair starts. And then the same thing on the top, um, working with that hair, we're just marking where the top of the hair starts. So um, now we've actually got um, all of our measuring markers aside from deciding how thick um, our our arch should be so I just made a mark here and then I'm just going to carry it over the tool gets skinnier as you move along so it's kind of nice because um and all of the the th the thickness of the tool up top to bottom I find that um it's a really good um like most brows won't get thicker than the thickest part or thinner than the thinnest part so you can use it as a little measuring device so now I'm just connecting my lines. I'm just going to kind of do this quick and, and then um, we'll sit her on up and make sure that everything looks even. But truly, once you have these measuring marks, guys, you just are connecting dots. That's literally all you're doing. And I love freehanding it too because you're not snapping a string. It's not a perfectly straight line. You can create just a little tiny bit of curve, which helps the brow flow and move a little bit more naturally. So I'm just literally connecting points to points. So connecting here to here. And the top apex of this arch to the center. And I am slightly stretching this skin because with a really curvy brow bone like this, it's really easy to get that too curvy on the top. Um, so just watch that when you're doing your your circle brows and depending on what they're wanting for their brows you'll kind of have this center line a little bit uh, the underneath line a little bit more curvy or a little bit more straight and I'm just I did this a little on the messy side so I'm just going to clean this line up and clean this line up there we go I just like to have a really clean map. And the nice thing about using my brow lock is that then I can use a, a pencil that comes off easily so it's easy to clean up. Let's scan this, but I think it's perfect. 
Yep, so we're just going to build underneath this brow, smooth it out. And same thing over here, just build underneath this brow and get it nice and smoothed out. And there we go, guys. That's how you map circle brows. Easy schmoozy.